you doing? If you're like me, you could use some time off. In the old life, it was never easy for me to take a vacation. Booking on points is so freaking complicated. Plus, I had to leave Cheech in charge. <sighs> Son of a... Cheech, you better be on fire or dead. And if so, how are you calling? Jimmy, I'm locked out of the club. What are you bothering me for? Call Fats and get the other key. I can't. He's locked inside. <laughs> what do you mean, you and Fats are both locked in? I was on the roof. There's a skylight. The rest is a blur. But it's not our club. What? Someone's here. I gotta go. Turned out to be the Spamante family's club. Cheech didn't want to pay for the skylight he broke, so he just up and shot everybody. Around the neighborhood, they still call it the Jimmy's Trip to Aruba Massacre. I always called it the Fats is a big fucking crybaby bloodbath. God rest his soul. Now that I'm in witness protection, it's like a permanent vacation. At a two-star resort where everybody says sorry all the time. We've only had one vacation from this apologetic iceberg of a country. And was it worth it? Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. What is it, a mouse? Nah, it's one of Teresa's boyfriends trying to sneak out. <clears throat> no sleepovers, kid. That's it? You letting him go? Take him out back and explain the rules to his face. Ah, cook, who gives a crap? I'm free. I've been in there since... Ah, my eyes! Ah! Look at him, McCool. He's depressed. Snap out of it! You got nothing to be depressed about, you useless sack of garbage! Pop, if you decide to slit your wrists, have some courtesy and do it in the bathtub. You need a gun, slugger? Take my cools. I'm not wiping your brains off mine. Nah, Jimmy will go out like a wise guy. Suck in an oxygen tank in prison. Sweet Mitsu's cowboy! Jimmy's under the moon and you're all making morbid jokes. Clearly, Canada's character-building midwinter gloom is affecting all of you. But I have a solution. Please say therapy. Please say therapy. A vacation! Aw, oh, come on! <gasps> you hear that, Jimmy? We're going on vacation! Yeah, right. Knowing McCool, it'll be a day trip to Lake Who Gives a Shit. For Canada, where everyone needs to get the hell out once in a while. Pigs, I'm taking this plane to Cuba! <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Welcome to Cuban Airlines. I'm your pilot, Brad. That's just a little thing we do to lighten the mood around here. Enjoy the flight. McCool, you said vacation, not being babysat by a Fed in a communist hellhole. But Cuba's perfect. There's literally no chance you'll be spotted by the mob. Then why are you coming with us? I need a vacation from all things Canuck, or I'm gonna lose my freaking mind! No, oh, of course. I I just thought we could, you know, hang. The whole point of this was to stop me from hanging myself. Oh, no, no problem, Jimmy. I I won't get in your hair. For the next week, old Street McCool's gonna be all about rest, rejuvenation, and relaxation. How can you relax in a country that treats people so bad? Every country has its share of human rights violations. Except Canada, of course. Yeah, no, you guys are awesome. I ain't seen a Cuban since that thing we did not do in Dallas. Excuse me, I gotta kill Kennedy. I mean, take a leak. I can't wait to take in the music, culture, and revolutionary atmosphere of Cuba. The people's paradise. Shut up, Trotsky. Kid, get the waitress to open the door. 
Bienvenido a Cuba, liberated from American business interests and mafia-controlled casinos since 1959. Commie sons of bitches. You know, I ran one of them casinos down here back in the day. I banged so many Cuban broads. They gave me a nickname, Don Juan de Gonorrhea. How old were you? I don't know, 20... no, 10. Look around, Jimmy. Cuba's a paradise. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough! You're not leaving my side for the next week! Ma, he's a nice Canadian boy. He's French-Canadian. You'll have your panties off faster than you can say... I think the word you're looking for is wow, huh? <laughs> Give me those back. I should mention, and I know this from experience, do not drink the tap water here lest you get a porcelain-shattering case of Batista's Revenge. Huh? Oh! Wanna go for a dip in the pool? Nah, too many German tourists. Ho ho, it's the Bay of Pigs. <laughs> Jimmy, lighten up. Cuba ain't so bad. It ain't so good either. Hey, where's Gina? I'm supposed to watch her in case she drowns. Somebody. She's probably over at the kids' club. Ah, to be a child again. That no-good quack won't even look at Petey unless I buy a timeshare. Petey's gonna have to ride it out. Escorpion Azul. Escorpion Azul. Ma, I think he's trying to tell us something. Cuba is home to the legendary Blue Scorpion. Reputed to cure everything from cancer to diarrhea. But, Petey, we can't go into a dangerous jungle just because you got fizzy gravy. Mom's right. I'll be at the pool. How does he do that? On second thought, we're going. Why should Petey suffer? This vacation sucks. So long as you don't. Gina, what are you doing in here? I thought you'd be out selling black market Bibles. You know, there's a swim up bar. You don't even gotta get up to go to the John. What's this? It's nothing. It's a porno machine, Jimmy. Don't you know anything? Give me that! Mind your business. <laughs> Greetings, fellow Americans. I represent the five families of organized crime who do not exist. We've joined forces with the government to encourage patriotic sociopaths like you to eliminate the communist leader of Cuba. If successful, you'll be granted super-made status and be untouchable by the mob. You'll also get a lifetime presidential pardon from the feds. Ain't that right, Jack? Act fast, and we'll throw in a free lobotomy for your yappy missus. How did you know about this? How did you not? It's been around since the 60s. So you are gonna kill Castro? Look who just clued in. Are these guys gonna f or what? So once we take out El Presidente, we can go back to New York. No way. I'm doing this alone. When you and Cheech get involved, things always go straight into the crapper. She's got a point, Jimmy. Sometimes you're a real screw-up. Oh! You can't do this alone. You'll wind up in Cuban jail with all the poets and playwrights. It'll be so boring! I'll cut the act, Pop. If we're gonna get our old life back by killing a guy, let's do it together like a family. Fine. But I'm not taking a backseat on my own caper, capiche? You were saying? One day, I'll be taller, but you'll always be a fat ass! Let's go! <laughs> What am I doing here? We're supposed to be on vacation, not out in the sticks hunting down an insect. Keep looking. Extremely rare blue scorpions can't be that hard to find. I see one! Where? On your arm! Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Are you kidding me? We had one, and you went and killed it! Oh. Petey, we're not camping here. Get out of the sleeping bag!
All right. We only get one shot at this. How do you know he's in there? Because while you girls were packing your bikinis, I was planning this caper to the letter. Every day after brunch, he comes to that window to feed his pigeon, Lee Harvey Birdswalt. And when he does... I'm going to turn his head into a mist. Jimmy, that's beautiful. I thought it up on the ride over. Wasn't sure if I'd use it. Well, I for one am glad you did. Give me that! Orphan Castro was my idea. I'm doing the honors. Why wait? I'll go in there right now and blow his head off. I'm the boss. I'll do it. But I am the boss's uncle. Shut up, you mooks. You want the whole country to know what we're doing? She's right. Keep it down. Hey, look, it's McCool. <sighs> Yo, McCool! Jeez, what are you doing? Hide the gun. See what I mean? Right into the crapper. Fancy seeing you three. Come to take in the sights, sounds, and smells of old Havana. Yeah, yeah, sights and smells. We're doing sounds tomorrow. Why are you walking around all alone? Oh, no. <gasps> Not now, Cheech. Why? I'm just saying he looks all lonely and pathetic, like a loser. I'm not lonely. Matter of fact, I'm going to visit my Cuban friend, Ronaldo Garcia. Well, then, you better get going. Hey, I knew a Garcia once. He drove an ice cream truck. Here in Havana? No, no, in New York. You think they're related? Oh, my God, Cheech! Give me that! I doubt it. Ronaldo is an orphan. Well, he's probably dying to see you then. Hang on, hang on. It wasn't Garcia. It was Gonzalez. For the love of food! So, probably not related. Cool. Okay, well, off to the, um, orphanage. Cheerio! Damn it! Put this in your mouth. What? What did I do? Mm. Ooh. Oh, Esmeralda, your hands are so soft. Mm. Trippin' balls, Ma. When are you gonna give up? When he's dead? You wish. Keep looking. Come on, Petey. Let's go back to the resort. <laughs> Fine. Take your chances with Ma. Teresa, you can't leave me here. Why? Because you're scared I might actually have fun on this vacation? No. Because I'm lost. <laughs> Get out of here! That is not how my son is losing his virginity. <laughs> Our one chance, and you blew it! It's McCool's fault. The guy wouldn't shut up about his stupid friend. You did it to me again. Without you dopes, I'd be toasting Castro's headless cadaver with a Cuba Libre. You know that's just rum and coke. <sighs> Presidential palace, por favor. And that, mi amigos, is how the Cuba Libre differs from a mere rum and coke. Ah. That is cool. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. Y you do? Don't think I didn't notice. You drove around a little bit. I... uh... <laughs> it's okay, comrade. But you do that with the tourists, yes? Not with El Jefe. Okay? Okay. Hasta luego! That is one charming motherfucker. What a presence, this guy. I got goosebumps. No wonder he's so hard to kill. <gasps> ah, god damn it. It's like, I just wanted him to like me. I know, I couldn't make a move. You almost forget that man's a bloodthirsty dictator. You think he liked me? Punch it! It's the only road I recognized. 
Did you have to stop for a fare? Gina, this resort ain't cheap. Jimmy! McCool, you been drinking? Oh, yeah, me and Ronaldo Garcia, when we get together, hi, <laughs> Chihuahua! I miss horse. <laughs> I'm in here! Horse? No, it's El Jefe! I'm in the trunk! Oh, God, Jimmy, you didn't! Technically, it was Gina. And the rat comes out! From Heller's dinosaurs! What have you done? Okay, this is fixable. We'll drop him back at the palace and pay the cab! Congratulations, Jimmy. You've liberated Cuba and ruined my life! I trusted you! See, that was your first mistake. <gasps> we can still get through this. Let me do the talking. No, thanks a lot, guys! Come on! Move it! Keep it off, keep it off! Get them! They took El Jefe! Just keep going, keep going! <laughs> Halt! You are trespassing on American soil. Do not move or we shoot. American soil? Yeah! <laughs> American soil. Oh, that's better. I cannot believe you assassinated a president to get away from Canada. I thought we were friends. What's friendship got to do with it? Apparently nothing. All right, let's get one thing straight. I'm not offering you weirdos asylum, got it? But we killed Castro. We killed Castro too. Killed him good. Shut up. If I had a dime for every nut job who hopped that fence claiming to have killed Castro, I'd have a mountain of dimes, and I'd sit on that mountain and declare myself the king of dimes! That sounds amazing. My point is, we're handing you right back to the Cuban authorities. Excuse me, Colonel Korn. I think you'd better see this. Multiple sources confirm Castro has been kidnapped by a red-headed midget posing as a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Mr. President, it's confirmed. Wait, then was that an instrument? Yes, sir. I'll do that. Oh, I am so fucking fired. <gasps> what? I can swear. Mother, I couldn't find one stinking bug. It's an arachnid, and you're a great mother. A great mother wouldn't let this happen. But you can't watch your kids every move, right? Well, I should have thought before I drank from that. I just want to keep Teresa from making the same mistakes I did. Oh, we're on Teresa now? You don't got to worry about me, Ma. How did you find us? And what's he doing here? You won't believe this. Jean-Philippe here likes to catch these and stick them up his ass. Keeps down the hemorrhoids. Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Ma, what the hell? Sorry. Those things creep the shit out of me. You got another one up there, JP? If you would have trusted me, we could have had fun instead of running around the jungle like Boob Raider. It's Tomb Raider. Shut up, Petey. Oh. Teresa, you're right. Uh, you didn't do anything with Jan Philip here, did you? Not at all. I'm not the one he likes. Anybody else feel a breeze? Holy crap, are you good? <laughs> Ah, Jesus. <laughs> what? No goodbye? 
All this time, I've gone above and beyond to protect you, and now you lie to me and walk away like it was nothing? What, are we married? You lied to me, too. I did no such thing. Really? What about Ronaldo Garcia? You saw through that? <sighs> I made him up. I felt silly being out all alone while you three were having fun committing a murder. Don't take it so hard, McCool. Of all the cops I've ever known, you're my favorite. That's not saying much. Coming for me, that's saying a lot. Put it there, pal. Hey, where's Air Force One going? Well, Castro was found with third degree burns by three Canadian tourists who revived him with the venom of a blue scorpion. Can you believe that sh This family is a freaking curse. So, no medals? No getting super made? No. Well, what about the free lobotomy? I'll give you a lobotomy. Come here! Yo, Colonel, seeing as we came pretty close to half an ounce, Tommy Dante, you think we could get a chopper ride back to the resort? Get the hell off my base. <laughs> Gorgeous weather in Cuba, huh? Damn shame the American people can't go there. Maybe I ought to do something about that. Can you believe this? Ma and them flew home first class courtesy of El Presidente. And we're rowing a fucking truck. I stand by my choice to sell our passport to those Arabs in Gitmo. I don't even know why we bothered with a vacation. I'm just as depressed as I was before. But Jimmy, you lied to a policeman, stole a taxi cab, and almost whacked someone. What more could you want? You know, you're right. And I made 28 bucks driving that cab. Which you'll have to declare at customs. And you wonder why we didn't want to hang out with you. Keep rowing, Jimmy. Keep rowing. How you doing? It's me, Gina. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm not wearing a seatbelt, neither. Blow me. Before Pops became the fattest stool pigeon in history, he was my hero. If there was an award for Father of the Year, Pop would have got it. Dog Francesco says hello. <laughs> <laughs> then this happens. So I look at the FBI guy and say, you stinking feds can blow me. I ain't testifying against nobody. Then the man from the Fed says, But the mob is gonna kill you and your whole family, Jimmy. You with me so far, kid? I get it. You're turning rat. Just wait. There's more. If you testify, we can give you immunity. Do you know what immunity means? Enough with the fucking puppets! <laughs> oh! Now Pops is the puppet and the Feds are the ones pulling the strings. This is the thanks I get for saving all your lives. And if you don't think I'm better off dead than living in Canada's icy butt crack, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. You clowns think you can avoid me? We have nap time together every day. Now cough it up. The new kid already took our money. What are you little crap stains trying to pull? Who's this new kid? <sighs> Just give me another wedgie and let me go. Another wedgie? <laughs> Who gave you the first one? Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah! Hide behind the skinniest statue on Earth, dumbass! <laughs> Looks bad, but for once, I'm innocent. I think the furnace is on the fritz. What's 10 degrees in American? Don't know. Depends on the exchange rate. Apologies for the intrusion, but I'm here to save the day. What's with the pantyhose? It's a unitard. I'm Maple Man. Maple Man? Canadian superhero? Fighting minor infractions and belligerents everywhere? You look unitotted, Captain Leaf. <gasps> Teresa, why are you dressed up as Sapling Girl? 
Maple Man's trusty sidekick, who's always getting him out of sticky situations? I'm just wearing what they gave me for my job as a booth babe at Regina Comic Con. <gasps> Do you know what this means? Of course not. You'll be working with Bentley Withermoon, the renowned actor who plays Terrence Timber, AKA Maple Man. Sounds like a lot of nerds. I better bring my pepper spray. Teresa, you have to introduce me to him. So much of my belief system is based on the teachings of Maple Man. Well, it's a hundred bucks for an autograph, 300 for a photo, or a thousand to brush his hair. I have to go sell my stamp collection. Hey, can I borrow your brush? Gina. You have irreparably damaged school spirit here at Celine Dion Elementary. Don't worry, our hearts will go on. The only place that'll accept you now, my dear, is Our Lady of Peace School for Wayward Girls. Not the nuns. No, anything but the nuns! That's right. Enjoy that juice while you still can. <laughs> the only snacks the nuns will give you are warm holy water and stale body of Christ. Yummy! <gasps> Thank you for coming, Mr. McDougal. I came as soon as I got your call. You got a real sultry phone voice. Well, I'm afraid Gina's in a great deal of trouble. Your fancy skeleton statue nearly crushes her, and she's the one in trouble? You got a lot of nerve, Professor. Next thing you know, she'll be blaming you for this hat that I stole off the special ed kid. Well, we talked her down to a one-day suspension. Pretty good for your old man, huh? Just wait till I get my hands on that kid who framed me. Knock out his teeth for me, will you? I miss reading Rainbow for this. Five seconds and I'll be shaking hands with a syndicated television legend. Okay, that's it for today. Maple Syrup Man will be back tomorrow. For some reason. Teresa! Teresa! Introduce me! Uh, Tabitha, I had some notes regarding your booth babing skills. Shall we discuss them over a drink? Sorry, I left my fake ID at home. <laughs> Don't worry. No one asks for ID in my hotel room. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm really tired from wincing at people's breath all day. Most girls in your position would leap at the chance to get a few tips from an industry veteran. Sorry you were in the war, but thanks anyway. See you tomorrow! Teresa, you gotta introduce me to- Buzz off, nerd! <laughs> Oh, Katie! I didn't recognize you in your pajamas! Can I ask you a question? Shoot! You ever worried at... I said shoot! Come on, it's your turn! Oh, right. <laughs> you missed! What a loser! Cheech, you ever worry things are slipping out of your control? Yeah, but I got special underpants for that. It's this mystery kid at school. He's haunting me. And I don't even know what he looks like. The kid without a face? How am I supposed to sleep now? Let me tell you, Francis Bacon once said... No, wait, it was Kevin Bacon. He said, knowledge is power. Yeah, I should snoop around, find out who this kid is. Good idea, Cheech. Oh, and if you call me a loser again, I'll slice your fucking nuts off. Ooh, you're tough, but fair. <laughs> Get the file on the new kid and check the teacher's lounge for snacks. Not in that order. What the hell is this? In case you gotta hack into the mainframe or some shit. Hey, why is my locker open? What the hell is this? It's a picture of the best summer of my life. <gasps> Carmine! I'm back! Oof. That's for getting me suspended. Not that I care, but still. And that's for breaking Celine Dion. <laughs> what was that for? That's because I missed you. I'm impressed. Must have took a lot of determination to track us down. You know, your pop killing my pop and all, it, it gets you out of bed in the morning. That, and I wanted to see you again. Muscling in on my marks was a nice touch. And you're short. Shut up! I grew one and a quarter inches since last summer. I mean on the vig, you chiseling mook. I got expenses. Taking a cab all the way from Brooklyn wasn't cheap. The meat is still running. You want to lift to your house? What was I, born yesterday? Come on, I'm going to find Cheech sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. These vendettas take a lot out of you. Well, good luck finding him. The guy's a phantom. He lives in the shadows and moves as silent as a warm breeze. Hurry up, Gina. 
Cheech Falcone is getting bored. Anyway, Carmine, I ain't gonna make getting to Cheech easy for you. I wouldn't want you to. Last time I had any real fun was when you and me mixed it up at camp. You mean when I kicked your ass? How do you know I didn't let you kick my ass? And the gloves are off. <laughs> if you say so. I left you a juice box and some crackers. See you soon. You backstabbing son of a whore! Open this door right now and I'll let you keep some of your limbs! Fruit punch. Oh, you remembered my favorite! What's she doing here? Replacing someone who doesn't know how to play ball. Oh, I know how. Just not with yours. Sadly, Tabitha, you lack the talent to portray a convincing sapling girl. Like it takes talent to have a unitard jammed up your butt. I'll have you know I majored in unitards at Juilliard. Come on, Petey. Let's get away from Doctor Who wants me to touch his wiener. But I sold my stamp collection. I told you the furnace wouldn't fix itself. Now the toilet water's frozen. I know, I've been chipping yellow ice all night trying to get my cell phone out. Chase dropped a deuce and it's just sitting there, mocking me. That's it, I'm calling the repairman. Is Cheech here? Nope. Damn it! Between you and me, you don't really like Cheech much, do ya? What are you talking about? He's great! I mean, he's all right. He means well. Actually, he does it, but he's my uncle! What do you want? But if he wasn't around no more, we'd be okay, right? Maybe you would, but who the hell would I hang out with? What, did you kill him? How'd you do it? Me and Ma have a bet. <laughs> Holy crap! I was kidding around! You did kill him! Jesus Christ, Gina! I didn't touch him! I haven't seen him since last night! <laughs> it's all my fault! Kid, relax. I saw him an hour ago. He went to them Nerd Olympics with Teresa. Why do you think he was dead? I'll tell you on the way. Come on. And I wasn't crying. What do you mean you can't get here for two days? It's so cold, I can see Cheech's breath. I thought Comic-Con was gonna be a comedy show for convicts. You know, where every punchline is, don't drop the soap. <laughs> you know who should be in prison? Bentley Withamoon. He almost was, three times, but he always got off. It's ironic, nothing sticks to Maple Man. Why are you sticking up for him? The guy's a pig. He's not a pig. He's the product of the forbidden love between man and maple tree. You just can't see the real him past your nerd boner. By the way, you should wear a jock under that costume. Man, I ain't seen so much butt crack since we extorted the plumber's union. Maybe there was something else you did wrong? He fired me because I wouldn't put out. What? Guy sounds like a creep. No respect for the ladies. Yo, space jugs. Let's see if I can come in peace. Cookie, shame on you for even thinking of calling a repairman when you have me. A housewife? Alone? A repairman? Oh, that reminds me of a dirty movie I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Strange. Ah, there's nothing like using your hands to bring back the heat. Good thing I brought my big tool. That was a line in the movie. <gasps> Did you have a repair? I don't know what you're referring to, Cookie. I'm just here to perform some sweaty, dirty work. That's another line! Ah, you're the Randy Repairman! Damn my gambling days. I knew that video would come back to haunt me. Sir, can I see your wristband? <laughs> How is this the first I'm hearing about Gambini's kid? What, I gotta tell you every little thing? You do when our lives are at stake? What if he squealed on us to the mob? then we'd be having this conversation in hell. The day Cheech gets taken out by a six-year-old, I'll eat my shirt. Well, get ready to choke down some polyester, cause this kid's the real deal. Got a little crush there, kid? Yeah. I mean, no! Shut up, dumbass! All right, to be continued. Now, let's find Cheech quick before we wind up relocated to Yellow Horse or White Knife or some fucking place. <gasps> God, you can almost smell the virginity in here. Hello? I'm down here. How you doing? I'm Gina's friend. That's funny, because Gina doesn't have any friends. Oh, you calling me a liar, Gina's mom? Nobody calls me a liar. Where do you get off? 
What, did somebody drop a deuce in your cereal this morning? Your dried up old floozy? Oh, yeah, okay, now it makes sense. Come on in and wait for her. So, what's a guy gotta do to get some milk and cookies around here? Oh, you're a hungry little spark plug, ain't ya? <laughs> yeah, hungry for revenge. <laughs> Good one. Hello? Cookie? Nice to finally meet you, Cheech. You're bigger than I imagined. Has everyone seen my movie? Who wants cookies? Hey, where'd you go? Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! <gasps> hey, you're not Cheech. No shit, you little monster. Oh, Jesus, McCool! Where did it go? Where did it go? It's gone. <gasps> Hold me, Randy. Tighter. Cookie, get a hold of yourself. Who was that crazed demon child? It was Gina's friend. Oh, that explains a lot. But why was he have to cheat? I don't know. Let's go down to the comic book convention and ask him. A comic book convention? And I get to kill Cheech? Double win! Jeez, I hope Pop's having better luck finding Cheech than I am. Mm. Mm. Ow, Gina! That's for locking me in my locker. Thanks for the snacks, though. Hey, can I ask you something? Say you do off Uncle Cheech. What next? Oh, I got plans. I want you and me to run away together. Hit the open road like Bonnie and Clyde. You want to get gunned down in slow motion at the end of an old movie? No, I mean the bank robbing parts. But none of the kissy parts. Ew, you're gross. Maybe the huggy parts. Don't get your hopes up, sicko. But look, do you really gotta kill my uncle? Of course I do. Good luck finding Cheech in this joint. The man's a master of disguise and concealment. He could be standing right behind me, and you'd never know. Go, Gina. Spot your Uncle Cheech a couple of bucks for a slice, will you? Damn it! I've been looking for you, mister. Not another one. Look, Junior, I know what you're thinking, but I ain't your father. Holy crap, you're even dumber than the legends. Time to put you out of my misery. Yo, look, everybody! It's a midget from Game of Thrones! <laughs> They never look as tall in person. But this is official police business. Let me in. Not until I see a wristband, sir. Can we wrap this up soon, sugar cheeks? Oh, I'm getting right as cramp. Oh! What's the meaning of this, you me wannabe? In season one, episode four of The Adventures of Maple Man, you vow to stand against injustice no matter where it occurred even if the hour was late and the location less than convenient. If you want to quote the show to me, that's an extra $60. Silence! Maple Man stands for fairness, equality, and decency. You stand for none of those things, you egocentric, misogynist hypocrite! How dare you! How dare you, sir! You have no right to fill the sacred Maple Man unitard. Security? Sure, hide behind your goons. Oh, hi, Jetsy. Ah! <laughs> Maple Man, thank God you're here. I fell through this table. Uh, would Cheech McDougal please proceed to the information desk? That's the big table near the front door. If you get confused, tell a grown-up you're lost. Uh, over and out. Well, if it ain't Jimmy Falcone. Oh, come on! Look at you, excuse me. Teach McDougal, do not come to the information desk. Repeat, do not make up your mind. Gee, kid, you got the same psychotic spark in your eye as your old man. I also got his propensity for violent blood-soaked revenge. And his inability to whistle. Kid, look, I owe you a huge apology. I'm sorry for what happened with your pops. He was a, well, I won't say a good man. He was a man. Let's leave it at that. You call that half-assed tap dance an apology? You murderized him. He was gonna kill my uncle, then I would have had to kill him back. So 
We skipped this step. But don't take it out on Cheech. I'm the guy you want. Don't worry. I promised Gina I'd never touch you. Who's worried? But that's nice. She's a good kid. Oh, she's great. Easy there, Romeo. But listen, you kind of already got your revenge on me. How do you figure? Look at me. Look around you. I'm living like a schmuck here. I mean, my life ain't bad, but it's a far fucking cry from good. Know what I mean? Oh, for Christ's sake. For the last time, kid. I never bend your mother. <sighs> Let me tell you something, you ignominious little snot stain. I am a classically trained actor. If it weren't for all the money I make and during these weekends with you halitosis-ridden cretins, I'd never be caught dead in this asinine outfit providing masturbatory fantasy fodder for overgrown adolescent twerps. And furthermore, I hate Canada and Maple Man can gobble my knob! <gasps> Did you get that, Teresa? He's a one-take wonder. And... post! I hate Canada and Maple Man can gobble my knob! You look fat in that suit. Oh. Teresa! That's not nice. What? Bitch took my job. I told you I wouldn't make this easy for you, so you're gonna have to go through me. You know, for a guy you can't stand, you sure do seem to care a lot about Cheech. Trust me, this is killing me. I'm gonna regret it the next time he opens his mouth. Wait a sec. Does your mother do hoop waxes down at the Korean spa? See what I mean? <laughs> All right. I changed my mind about off and Cheech, but not about... What? That sounds mushy. So, spit it out. Nah, some things are better left unsaid. What are you, chicken? Shut up! I'm no chicken. You're a chicken! Yeah, yeah, I'm rubber, your glue. Just shut the f*** up and tell me! <sighs> I didn't change my mind about how much I like you. Um, I'm glad about that. And being glad hurts my face. You make my face hurt too, Gina. So, what do you say you and me shake down a couple of these booths? Why not? These dorks have been bullied all their lives. They know the drill. <gasps> You're under arrest for assaulting a police officer, young man. It's maximum security juvie for you. It'll be no picnic, my fine friend. Lights out by 10 and only four hours of social media per day. McCool, wait! Aww. Guess I'll have to take a rain check. Guess so. But those blowjob screws won't keep me down for long. You gonna wait for me? Pfft, <laughs> screw that. That's my gal. Well, son, I hope you picked up some comics to read where you're going. For Canada! A dumping ground for American culture since 1867! <laughs> I knew it! There is a more north! Yes, Jimmy, and this is where we'll be until I'm certain the elusive Carmine Gambini is no longer a threat. How soon did he give you the slip? Somewhere between the washrooms and the parking lot. That's my boy. Petey, did you see how many hits our Maple Man video got? Yeah, but look what they're calling it. Idiot fan pwned by Maple Man. I can't take this no more! I'm walking home. I'll just head south. How hard can it be? Which way is south? We're so far north, it's all friggin' south! Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Remember me? Back in the old life, I was a mob wife. When mob wives had to, we rolled up our sleeveless blouses and helped out with the family business. Like when Jimmy's crew got pinched after a museum job, because Cheech left a DNA sample all over Nefertiti's bust. All right, Gloria's collecting protection money, Mia's intimidating a witness, and Frenchie's cutting heroin with Parmesan cheese. Best smack in the city. So, what do we do? Chick flicks? This ain't girls' night out, ya lazy bum. Then Gloria hauls in Stinky LaRue, a notorious rat Jimmy wanted gone. But there was a problem. Ah, uh, I can't do it. I can't get blood all over this pantsuit. Don't look at me. I just had these nails done. I ain't washing no skull fragments out of my new roots. I was almost gonna let that scumbag go, but I had an idea. All right, f 
nuts. Before we do this, you're gonna sit here with us and watch a movie. Ooh, the vanilla lace tea cozy. 90 minutes of awkward English people stammering about their feelings. Who wants popcorn? I don't know, Cook. Even for the mob, death by chick flick is a little cruel and unusual. But no one in the family ever read it again. Yeah, right. And we're in Regina on freaking holidays. If you think Canada's gonna make me any less cruel and unusual, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. How about this one? I already got to tell your brother to tuck in his shirt. I ain't telling you to tuck in your privates. My clothes express my individuality. Stop trying to census me. How about this? It says material girl with a hint of like a virgin. What the hell are you talking about? You know, Madonna. Lady Gaga's grandma? If we weren't in public, I'd smack you right in your stupid mouth. Teen troubles, Cookie? Oh, hey, Annabelle. You know how it is with teenagers. Can't live with them, can't drown them in the river. Well, we can't all be super parents. How do they fit, darling? Like I'm wearing miracles, mother. What's with Billy Elliot over there? That's my son, Donnie. He's testing a pair of dance pants for this year's Regina's Got Talent competition. Regina's Got Talent? It's a performing arts contest. No, I'm asking. Regina's Got Talent? Yes. And my Donnie's won three years in a row. Right, Superstar? Ain't you two a pair? More like a team. It's amazing what happens when you don't threaten your children with abuse. Hey, me and Teresa are a team, too. Well, Twinkie, your teammate just abandoned you. Teresa, get back here right now, or so help me, I'll hug you so hard. Why do you want me to sign up for a talent show, Ma? I thought about what you said in the store. You were right about expressing your individuality, and this is a great way to do it. So it's a wet t-shirt contest? You got a beautiful singing voice, Teresa, and I want you to share it with the world. <sighs> My nose is crying. I'm not used to you saying nice things about me. Well, get used to it, teammate, because you deserve it. Take it easy, Ma. Who knows what's in that blood? Jimmy, what are you doing here? Regina Tourism sponsors this event, so I gotta sit here and sign up all the wannabes and losers. Well, Teresa's signing up. Did I say losers? I meant shining stars of tomorrow. Donna! You guys are the best! You're talented too, Gina, but this contest ain't for you. Pop, I got no intention of entering Regina's Got Assholes. Well, that's good, because you can't. What do you mean, can't? Age limit's 10 and over. You're too young, so you can't. 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 Let it can't. go, Gina. Can't. There's some things can't. you can't do. Can't. Can't. But this ain't one of them. Can't. 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 Shut up! Now, McCool, just because my daughter's in this, I don't want you showing any favoritism. Unless you're open to that. In which case, I can make it worth your while. Do you know why I've been asked to judge this contest three years in a row, Jimmy? Because no one else will do it? And my integrity. I am unbribable. I'm always the bribe's maid, never the bribe. <laughs> Toby for Jimmy. Toby for Jimmy. Hey, Toby, what's up? Toby for Jimmy. Come in, Jimmy. <sighs> Go for Jimmy. Oh, there you are. Aren't these headsets amazing? Anyway, I have terrible news! Turns out Dick Clark is dead. We need a new MC! Did someone say MC? Have you ever MC'd before, Uncle Cheech? I certainly have, young lady. If any of you's got any allergies, whip out your EpiPens, cause here comes Peanut Butter Cookie! Sorry 
I'm late. I had to finish the word parts for my first number. Number? It's like the one I sang at Uncle Luigi's thing, remember? He's shaking his ass just sharp as a knife. It's non-stop booty, just don't tell his wife. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it at Club Afterlife. Yeah. Yeah! Wait till they hear my new song, Labia of Love. Teresa, honey, the judges want to hear classics. Then I'll sing one of my classy ballads, like Angel with the Fake Tits. You cried when I sang it at Christina's communion. We all did, honey. But if you want to make it past the first round, you gotta keep things wholesome. Okay, I'll try, but let's not go overboard. Of course not! Now tape down your boobs and put on his nun's outfit. Now to help us forget the human pretzel practically licking his own balls, here's our next act, g Doll and Enviro Pete. Now remember, I'm not your sister, I'm a doll. You sure are. Thanks for encouraging me to do this. My unique brand of edutainment is just what the people need. Shut the f up. We're on. Hey, g Doll, do you know why the ecosystem is in so much trouble? Because the owners of big factories are a bunch of dummies. Just like me. <coughs> Talk about an ecosystem. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, everyone, think globally, act jokily. The ventriloquism's quite impressive, but the material's atrocious. Bring back the ball liquor! <laughs> It's only 60 pounds. Cause you'll have a great old time at the good old ball game. Stay neutral, old chap. Stay neutral. Looks like Teresa might make it through to the next round. And it looks like you might be crapping your pants. Well, get ready to eat it. Next up, we got a three-time winner, a one-man dance armada. And a true patriot. Let's give a warm vagina welcome to Nani Westminster! Freaking amazing! Makes that nun's routine look like a bowl of piss. That nun was Teresa. Oh, sorry. This kid makes Teresa look like a bowl of piss. You want us to fix the talent contest? Not the whole contest, just that freaking Donny. He's unbeatable. Then I guess we'll have to beat some beatable into him. Anyone asks, I've been here all day. You have been here all day. Exactly. Cook, I'm not hurting a kid over a contest. Unless there's a cash prize. How much are we talking? It's a trophy and bragging rights. What am I, an amateur? And trust me, no one in that show's gonna do any bragging. Especially that boring nun. She's next on my list, Cook. That's Teresa! You wanna end this contest or not? Okay, forget it. I guess I'll just have to be a better mother and put way more pressure on Teresa. Everywhere that man To go. Stay on the high note. The high note. I don't believe the lamb's following Mary. Convince me. Visualize your goals. Reactualify your happytude. You're just making those words up. Don't talk back to your life coach, Muffin Top. This is unexcuse my language. Freaking acceptable, mother. Why didn't you hire me a life coach? I, I never. Never wanted me to win. Obviously. Ugh. I'm getting flushed. Fan. Donnie, you have nothing to worry about. Too dry. Spritz. Oh, are you trying to drown me? Donnie, calm down. Teresa's good, but you're better. I guess I'm gonna have to handle this because you're more useless than a donated appendix. Oh, Donnie. Fly like a dove. It's a labia of love. Hey, 
We agreed. No original songs. But I'm almost done writing it. I just need something that rhymes with reach around. Do you want to win this thing or not? Original songs, eh? Oh, that gives me an idea. Go get the car, Annabelle. In <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. God help you if I get to ten. We barely squeaked into this round, Gina, so we really have to nail it. Don't forget, be the message. Sure thing, Petey. Folks, if you need to use the crapper, now's a good time. Because it'll smell better than this next stack. I hate this guy. Oh. By the way, I changed our name. Oh, it's nice you're getting involved. Please welcome Little G. That's fun. And Dick Fart. Gina. Uh, ahem, <clears throat> okay. Hey, Little G, tell us what you know about fracking. That's when you dig a hole in the backyard and fart in it. <laughs> then this cracking loser shoves his head in and sniffs. <laughs> right to the kisser. Ha, 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 jokes aside, um, do you know the size of your carbon footprint, Little G? Two inches, just like your dick. <laughs> Gina, cut it out. Yes, um, carbon emissions should be on everyone's minds. Along with the polar ice caps. Yes, thank you. Do you know why the ice caps are melting? Because you jerk off in the shower? <laughs> Dick Fart's getting served! So, why did you ask me out, Donnie? I like you, Teresa. You're a good kid, and I want to give you some advice about the biz nasty. I got it directly from Al Pacino's acting coach's website. Wow, you are connected. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've slept my way around the entertainment block, sweetheart. Had my fair share of mouthies, VTs. VTs? Oh, vagina touches. <laughs> so naive. Donnie, have you ever actually been with a girl? Are you kidding? <laughs> Any more tangy poon for me and my G-spot's just gonna fall right off. What part of this is the advice? This part. If you want to stand out from the crowd, you need to do something original. You mean like an original song? Yes! Oh! But who has those, right? I, I do. I write my own songs. You do? And you're not singing them? Um, are you trying to lose? But I promised Ma I'd wait until I won. Waiting's for tables, baby. Speaking of which, who do I got a blow jam to get another shake around here? Petey, we always laugh at you, but who knew you had real comedy chops? When that creepy troll doll accused you of clear-cutting the cheese... Oh, my ribs, Petey! My ribs! Gina, you should have seen this kid. He's a natural. Yeah, but his material's a little highbrow for Gina here. Now, let's not forget about the environmental message. I'm an edutainer, first and foremost. The reviewer says you've redefined the fart of self-deprecating humor with refreshing brilliance. Um, I heard the dummy's pretty hilarious, too. Yeah, but without Petey, there's no act. It's just a hideous little puppet. Ooh, creepiest thing I ever seen. What's the G stand for, anyway? Grotesque? I thought it was just, God help me. No, it stands for guys. Look what just fell out of my ass. <laughs> 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 Now that we eliminated all the riffraff, it's time to hit the snooze button for the opposite of entertainment, Teresa Meduga. It's super drama, Fraggle Rock spaghetti is delicious. Ah, forget that crap. Regina, make some noise. Clap your hands, come on. Ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah. This is a Teresa McDougal original Christmas jam. I don't know what's sadder, how hard you tried or how badly she's failing. So get your butts to the bonfire. This is a race. He's gonna bust some Christmas cheer all over your face. Snip my foreskin and color me Jewish because Christmas is dead to me. Relax, Ma. I made it through.
through to the next round, didn't I? Only by the skinny of teeth, thanks to that humpy dog act getting disqualified. <laughs> Toby, for security! Toby, for security! Where are you, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell told you to do your own song? Donnie, he told me to be original. Teresa Falcone, you got played. My song got played. And once I find a rhyme for Reach Around, I'ma be dropping another sound bomb, yo. Now the only way we'll beat Annabelle is if Donnie gets kneecapped. So that's why you made me enter this, to beat Donnie's mom? Who's playing who, Ma? I wasn't playing ya. I was encouraging ya. By making me dress like a nun and sing about baseball? You were a nun trying to keep orphans off drugs by getting them into sports. It's called a backstory, Teresa. You know what? You're in this for you, not for me! Teresa, wait! Ah, balls! You're welcome, Mother. Once again, I solved the problem. Now, can you handle getting me a smoothie, or is that too much for you, you dried up old cow? Oh, and I'm gonna need a new phone, because this one's broken! I freaking hate other people's kids. Kickball change and a funky hips. Eye on the prize, eye on the prize. No, 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 no. Who's a bad boy? That's me. Who's a bad boy? That's me. How do girls pee? Who knows? Do the running man. Go, Donnie! Go, Donnie! It's about time. You best have my smoothie. Hey, who, who are you? No. No! Are you ready, little G? What do I know? I'm just a dummy. Dick Bob! Say, little G, I bet you have something funny to say about me and the terrible effects of nanopollution. Little G? <laughs> Do you have a frog in your throat? <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, frogs in mountainous areas are most affected by climate change. Uh, what do you think about that, little G? Make the troll talk! Come on, say something! Yeah, make the gargoyle emasculate you! <laughs> I'm a gargoyle? This from a guy with a baboon's ass for a face! <laughs> Does old McDonald know you left the farm, you f***ing donkey? <laughs> hey, McCool, a shot says pardon me? Pardon me? Oh, oh, I see what you did. Hey, everyone, the gremlin called me a shot! <laughs> Stop the show! Look who I found out by the dumpster! Uh, Donny! I've been knee-banged! Calm down, everyone! I'm a police officer. I'll get to the bottom of this. Donny, tell us who banged you. I was out back, waiting forever for my mother to bring me my smoothie when someone ran up and hit me right in my knee! My dancing knee! <gasps> Did you recognize the assailant? He was wearing a mask. You mean, she was wearing a mask? How could you, Ma? Yeah, how could you? I had dibs. Me? I had nothing to do with this admittedly fortunate turn of events. Oh, right. So when you said the only way I'd win is if Donnie got kneecapped, you were being psychic. Oh my god, Ma, are you psychic? She's a witch! Is someone going to call an ambulance? Cookie, I'm afraid I'm going to have to inquire as to your wear a... <laughs> Shart. So good. <clears throat> anyway, where were you when this happened? I was nowhere near Donnie. I was backstage working on Teresa's song. I even found the rhyme you were looking for. Just reach around and make a happy sound. Huh? Why did you finish my song for me? Donnie may have been playing you, but he was right. You gotta be yourself. Stop upstaging me! It's my time to shine! Mine! None of this would have happened were it not for the incompetent shrew who birthed me. Donnie, don't. Shut your kale hole. If you'd have been there on time with my smoothie, you could have taken the hit for me. But you didn't. Why? Because you're a selfish, greedy, evil... <laughs> Fine! It was me! And I would have got away with it if I didn't just hit him again in front of everyone. Damn it! <coughs> Kneecapping your own kid? 
That shit is cold. I'll tell you what's cold. Diva Donnie making me walk beside the car on the way home from his singing lessons in the dead of winter because I was taking up too much oxygen. Oh, I could go on! He's a monster! Mother, how could you? Oh, shut up, you fucking drama queen. You know, we may not have the best relationship, but at least we're not these clowns. I love you. I love you too, Bob. Aw, now you got my nose crying. Not so fast, madam. A real crime has been committed. I have no choice but to arrest... Oh, the results are in. This year's winner of Regina's Got Talent is... Dick Fart and Little G! What? Who's Little Dick and G Fart? <laughs> you said I was too young to enter, but I did, and I won! Take that, you mother... Porky's Revenge! It's alive! Run! Run for your lives! <laughs> but Canada, where even the most heroic must sometimes flee in terror! <laughs> oh, so everyone gets a shot but Cheech? It's my oh. turn, kid. <laughs> La 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 la